guys, it's Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. So today's video is going to be kind of like a what's in my bag video, but I wanted to do a airport edition. So it's going to be what's in my carry-ons for Berlin and I'm so excited. I can't wait and yeah, it's going to be so good to go away and just enjoy life for a little bit. So I hope you will enjoy this video, I hope you will find it interesting and maybe you will get some tips and tricks on how to pack your carry-ons and stuff like that. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I will really appreciate that and I have been having some couple of rough days lately. There has been a lot of personal stuff happening so that's why I haven't uploaded anything yet but I hope you can bear with me and I hope you understand that when something bad happens I just can't pop up on the camera and just pretend that everything is okay. So yeah. Without me babbling too long, let's jump into it. I always have a handbag and a carry-on when I'm traveling on the plane because I like to be prepared and I like to be safe knowing that all my most valued things are with me. So if the luggage gets lost or if the luggage gets delayed or anything happens, then I have at least my most needed essentials and stuff like my computer, my camera, my extra battery and all my chargers and stuff like that so I can make videos and have fun and just relax knowing that I have everything that I need. So I usually just pack clothes in my suitcase and then I have everything else that I feel like I can live without in my carry-ons. So yeah, um, I think I'm a bit weird about when it comes to that, but that's just who I am. I like to be on the safe side and I like to know that even if something happened, I at least have the things that I need. So let me know if you guys are the same way or if you do things differently. I would love to know how other people travel. That will be an exciting thing to know. So the purse that I'm going to bring is this Mark by Marc Jacobs Madame Hilly bag. I just love how the bag looks, I love all the details, I love that it's not a typical Marc by Marc Jacobs purse, that it looks a lot more sophisticated, classic and it's just totally me. So when I saw it I of course had to get my hands on this one and when you open it up it has three big compartments so you can actually fit a lot of stuff in here which I love about this purse and it has been my favorite for a couple of months now and I'm obsessed so love this purse and the first thing that I have in the purse is this wallet from Michael Kors I love the golden details I love this little thing here so you can kind of carry it like a bag if you want to. I just love how it looks. I'm obsessed with gold and black so that's amazing and as you can see it fits a lot of stuff in here. You can have all your receipts, you can have all your money, it even has an own compartment for coins and there's even uh, like a huge place for all your cards. So. I love that and it also even has a little space here where you can put your iPhone or your phone so if you don't want to carry on a huge purse you can actually just put your phone in here and you have your phone cards and money so that's actually everything you need if you're going to run some errands or stuff like that so I really really love this wallet. Next thing that I have in my bag when I'm traveling is of course a pair of sunglasses. These are from Mark by Mark Jacobs as well and they look like this. I think they are so simple, so cheap and I'm just obsessed with huge black 
sunglasses. I love them, so it will be perfect if there's some sun on the plane or it's too light. We all have those moments on the plane where you're so tired and the sun is just killing your eyes. So I always have some sunglasses with me at all times. You never know when you will need them. Then I just have my keys, my car key and my home key, nothing interesting. So the next thing that I have is this little pouch right here. I got this at H&M and it came in a pack of two, one a little bit smaller, which I love. And in here I just have my headphones, my charger and extra memory card because if you are doing YouTube like me or if you blog or anything, you always need to have a backup card uh, in your purse. So I have that in this cute little guy. Then I have my phone, which is nothing interesting. I have the iPhone 5. I also have this Chanel phone case, which, which I got in Cannes when I was in France last year and I'm all about Chanel as you may know so I... come on, I needed this, right? and then I also have a cute little thing here this is actually a USB memory stick so I thought it was so cute and it's great to have in your purse if your computer is full or anything you can just save the most valued pictures and films on this little guy here and I love that it works like a necklace so you can kind of wear it around your neck if you want to so I always have this little guy in my purse next I also have a lipstick this is a Viva La Diva lipstick in Euphoria the one I have on today I love this color I always make sure to have at least one lipstick with me in my handbag but of course I have also a lot of different in my makeup case so that's that and next I just have some pants you never know when you'll need to write something down or anything if you're looking for a shop or anything you can just write down the address and ask someone or give it to the taxi driver or anything so that is great I also have of course my passport uh, this one I got in London at Harrods. I thought it was so cute but so I can have my passport in it because our passport is red and I think it looks a lot more cuter and simpler with this little guy. And you can also have your boarding pass and everything you need inside this one. So I love that so you will you don't have to kind of look around you just put everything you need inside and then you're ready to board. Another thing that I have in my purse are some gloves. Uh, I always keep some gloves in my purse because you never know if it gets cold when you land or if you just need some gloves. It can be pretty cold, it can be rainy, it can be everything. So I always make sure to have a pair of gloves in my purse. And last but not least, I also have two granola bars in case I get hungry or in case I'm overslept or anything. I don't need to eat that crappy plain food because, come on, do you guys enjoy it? Because I think it tastes like plastic. So. If, I'm, if I get hungry and there's nothing else to eat, I grab one of these ones because I know that I will love them and they will keep me fed until I get the chance to go to a restaurant or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have in this little guy right here when I travel. And now let's get over to my carry-on bag. So the carry-on I like to bring with me is from Titan and it's pink, of course. I love it, it fits so much stuff you guys. And the first thing that I have with me is this box right here. And this is where I keep all my jewelry, bracelets and stuff like that. 
so I will have a majority to choose from because I can never plan an outfit before I'm leaving. Then I just have my charger and of course I needed to pack an umbrella because you never know if it's going to rain. Next I'm having all my favorite brushes, you never know what you will do and I like to have all my favorites with me. Then I have my camera and in this little guy right here I have my camera charger, an extra battery and of course I also have an extra lens because you never know what you're going to film or the pictures that you want to take so I like to be prepared and I like to have these things with me at all times. On the other side of my carry-on I have my bedazzled hair straightener which is a must for me and I also pack this clutch here since it's black and white it will fit every single outfit and I'm also bringing with me my white marked by my Jacobs little purse. I like to keep it in the dust bag so it won't get any scratches or marks on it while I'm traveling and this is just a little tip for you guys. The biggest thing in this carry-on is my laptop. I just like to have it with me at all times and I don't ever want to check this in. For me it would just be a bad, bad idea. I don't know why but I've always had my laptop in this computer bag from Mark by Mark Jacobs as well. I got this a couple of years ago when I lived in New York City and it has been used almost every single day since then. And that's pretty much what I have in this bag. So yeah, that was pretty much what I have in my carry-on bags. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more beauty and fashion. I will be filming a vlog. Uh, when I'm in Berlin so you guys can see what I've been up to, see the city if you haven't been there and I will try to make it as fun as possible for you guys. It will be my first vlog so hopefully everything will be okay and the vlog will be up on Sunday evening or Monday so be sure to stay tuned and check out the vlog. I will not post a video on Friday because I'm in Berlin and I didn't want to film anything boring just to put something out there. I will instead spend a lot of time filming this vlog for you guys and there will also be a haul when I get home because as I know myself and as you probably know me, I just love to shop. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I wish you a blessed week, a happy weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.